Monday, how y'all doing? I had an amazing weekend. I hope you all did too. I hope you're ready for a great, wonderful week. You know, I was saying that this week I was going to talk about uh, relationships and being neurodivergent. Now, I didn't learn I was neurodivergent until September of 2022, about nine days before my birthday. That's when I was officially diagnosed as neurodivergent. So I spent the majority of my life in relationships not knowing it. And there were issues that arose in the relationship. And now looking back, I can see the fingerprints of neurodivergence all over that. The benefit of, of the life that I've had, though, is that I've been married before. I have children. My children are all grown. So I've experienced those things. I've gone on family vacations and trips and stuff like that. I've done those things. I've experienced those things. So now, at this time in my life, you know, I'm not desperate, if you will, for a relationship. I've experienced those things. I've been able to have that. I've had the privilege of having a family, of having all that stuff. So I'm in a different situation than a lot of other people that may have been earlier diagnosed and, you know, have unmasked earlier and are trying to find that other person and stuff. But I can tell you the one thing I am looking for, and I'm going to go over things over this week and stuff. This is kind of just the intro thing. I've been, I've been single for about seven years or so now. Um, like completely single. I haven't dated or anything during that time frame and stuff. Just working on myself, just working on growth, dealing with different things, the things that I didn't like in the relationship, like I said before, you know, in the past and stuff. Now, you know, I was working on those things and then now I learned I'm neurodivergent. So all the emotional dysregulation, the overwhelm, you know, the stuff that would cause those heightened emotions and stuff, that stuff's pretty much gone. So the whole experience in a relationship will be different now, but you know, what, what I'm looking for probably is someone that's also neurodivergent, someone that's a little more similar to me, not uh, in likes everything, like we don't have to like the same TV shows and like movies and eat the same thing, nothing like that, just, just more of a way of thinking, you know, interested in growth, interested in growing spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, all that kind of jazz, but we'll talk more this week, I hope you have an awesome Monday, have an awesome week, you are an awesome, amazing human being, we'll talk more tomorrow, peace out and bye.